Elon Musk recently unveiled the groundbreaking autonomous cyber cab and cyber van. Plus, they unveiled the revolutionary Optimus robot setting the internet on fire. Even Kim Kardashian did a photo shoot with Optimus. But while everyone was looking at the glamour, I think I found something Musk and Tesla didn't want us to know about. Watch till the end to see why Optimus was a simple Musk marketing trick. During the Wii Robot event held by Tesla on October 10th, 2024, Elon Musk walked out on stage at Warner Brothers Studios Burbank in California and told the entire world that Tesla would be joining the robo-taxi industry. After Waymo, Cruise, and other autonomous driving vehicle brands have been in the game for almost two years, Tesla announced that it will be joining them with a completely revolutionary new vehicle called the Cyber Cab. He unveiled 20 concept Cyber Cabs that were driving all by themselves around the studio and they were giving rides to anyone willing to get inside. Naturally, hundreds of people were waiting in line to try the new Cyber Cab. According to Tesla's CEO, the Cyber Cab will enter production sometime before 2027. For now, the name of the vehicle is still unclear since they refer to these vehicles as both cyber cabs and robo taxis. But I like the term cyber cab better, so I'll stick with that one. While we might not yet know the name of this concept car, we do know that it's gonna be an autonomous driving vehicle for two passengers with iconic butterfly doors so you can ride in style. Unlike other vehicles, the cyber cab comes without door handles. The doors fling when you're next to the vehicle. If you're carrying suitcases, you can put them in a hatchback opening of the car. But while I was watching Elon Musk telling everyone how autonomous vehicles will give time back to the drivers, which could be used for commuting to and from work, I kept thinking about one thing. Why does the cyber cab have no windows? In fact, this was one of the car's design features. There are no rear and side windows in this car. And speaking of things that this car doesn't have, there is no visible charging port on the outside, but there's a reason for that. You see, the cyber cab wants to smash that like button, just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, the cyber cab wants to use inductive charging where conductive would do the trick. When people raise concerns about inductive charging, being inefficient compared to conductive charging, Elon Musk said there is no meaningful efficiency difference between inductive and conductive charging if the system is designed right. However, some critics pointed out that this is not enough to put Tesla ahead of its competition. Sure, their battery charging mode is new and it has a slick futuristic design, but the technology inside the cyber cab is pretty average. While competitor cars have autonomous and manual driving modes, Tesla's cyber cab comes with no steering wheel or pedals, which means autonomous is the default mode. The taxi itself has a range of 200 miles or 320 kilometers on a full charge and a battery capacity of 35 kilowatt. You order the driverless taxis through the Tesla app, which is still undergoing internal testing before it's released to the public. Speaking of releases, Tesla's marketing campaign for the cyber cab angered the production company Alcon Entertainment. They were behind the movie Blade Runner 2049 and thought that Tesla's marketing in the film had a lot of similarities. So Tesla earned itself a major league lawsuit from Alcon Entertainment shortly after the We Robot event. This might come at a time when Tesla doesn't have a lot of cash to burn, especially since they will be investing most of it to ramp up production for the new cyber cabs. Speaking of which, people were pretty stunned to hear that Tesla aims to start volume production of the cyber cab by the end of 2026. Musk's statement wasn't met with applause or ovations, but with stunned silence. Why is that? Well, it might be because Waymo is already two years into the game and Tesla hasn't even begun production yet. Even though they expect to release 2 million vehicles every year, most of their factories are at full production capacity, which makes this goal highly unattainable. But that's not the thing that rubbed me the wrong way about this event. It was Musk's next announcement. 
immediately after Musk announced the release of the RoboVan, which had a supposed capacity of around 20 people, he did something unimaginable. Musk released an army of Optimus robot prototypes on stage, saying that they would be the most important product for the company. The CEO said that Optimus is a revolutionary step towards the future of robotics. They will be helping people with everyday tasks like cooking, cleaning, picking up the mail, delivering things you might need, and even mixing drinks. And besides the swarm of dancing Optimus bots in that cage, which looked like a scene from Magic Mike for Robots, the rest of the robot army actually mixed drinks for the attendees. And I'll admit, seeing a bunch of robots making your drinks seems pretty cool. Plus, Tesla claims that the robot mixes AI and robotics in a very special way. Not only is Optimus packed with sensors and cameras that help it navigate the surroundings, but the robot is also learning with each interaction. In other words, the more we use Optimus, the smarter it'll get. Some were excited about the everyday uses of the robot, but others couldn't wait to use Optimus's potential in factories. Think about it, all of the dangerous and repetitive tasks that humans are doing today could be outsourced to Optimus. This includes everything from lifting heavy objects to handling toxic materials. But while others were amazed, I was yawning. Why? Because the robot isn't developed yet, they admitted it. This means Optimus was nothing but a clever marketing trick to take people's eyes away from the bigger problem, which is Tesla's late production of the cyber cabs. Think I'm wrong. Let's see what the robot says. How much of you is AI? I can't disclose just how much. That's something you'll have to find out later. Now, Elon Musk claims that this Optimus robot will be the biggest product of any kind, but he's probably talking about some distant future because the Optimus of today is just a gimmick, a parlor trick designed to rouse attention. Nothing more. Why do I say this? Well, one of the attendees at the event interacted with the bartending robot and the robot confirmed he was being controlled by a human. After the guest told Optimus what kind of drink he would like, he asked a very intriguing question. Are you being remote controlled? At first, the robot tried to avoid answering the question, but when the guest kept persisting, the robot said this. Today, I'm yeah. assisted by a human. I'm not yet fully autonomous. As you can see, it's not just my opinion. These robots are actually gimmicks set to grab attention. Remember the Tesla Semi? That truck on December 1st bragging that production would start in 2019. However, something must have been messing with his schedule because it's December 2024 and there's still no sign of the Tesla truck, Tesla Semi, or the Tesla whatever. And if you think back, he did the same thing with the Cybertruck. We all remember this embarrassing moment from five years ago during the same event, Musk announced that Tesla would be making electric motorcycles too, but we have yet to hear about them. Musk is brilliant at getting people to pay attention to Tesla for very little money until he's not, because we all remember the Twitter fiasco that cost him over $40 billion that he had to get by liquidating Tesla stock. These actions, in turn, made investors scared, and they started selling Tesla stock, thinking Elon Musk had lost faith in the company. And just like that, dear Musk over here lost $200 billion of net worth in a single year. The question that we're now asking is, will Optimus and RoboTaxi be just like the Tesla Semi, the Tesla electric motorcycle, the famed Cybertruck that they've been bragging about for what seems like forever? Actually, I don't remember a time when Elon Musk hasn't been telling the world that the Tesla truck is coming. And if it's not that, it was the Tesla solar roof or the boring company or whatever the case may be. Elon Musk is a master at creating products that generate buzz and keep Tesla front and center of the AI revolution. But will it last? How long before people start to see through the BS and actually realize that Elon Musk is just bragging about half finished products just to get fans excited and provoke the competition? It's a ruse. And I personally think the Optimus robot is just another example of that. However, I would like to be proven wrong. After all, Tesla electric cars are arguably the best in the world. Everything in between is just a cheap marketing trick if you ask me. 
Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time. 